I've always been intrigued by the exercise of censorship in Singapore where scripts need to be vetted before they are given license to be performed, right? So, so in Singapore, there's no way you can stage anything without applying for an arts entertainment license. And I, and I wonder why that is, because this is not something that happens in many other societies, yeah? Other places, if you want to stage anything, you don't have to submit your script, you can just go ahead and, and put up something. When we have a classification system in Singapore, they are trying to restrict what classes of people, and it's usually tiered according to age groups, can watch a certain work. And I think this goes to the heart of what is freedom of expression. Yeah? So there's this assumption that freedom of expression is about the right of the artists to express themselves. So sometimes you get this very caricatured image of artists who are like, oh, let me say what I want, um, even though it might be controversial, you know, I insist on my right. But freedom of expression is also about the right of the audience to receive information. But when it comes to political content, for me, it's very simple. If you're not going to put ratings on, say, political election rallies, yeah, you're not going to say, don't bring your children, <laughs> this is political, they're not mature enough. If you don't gatekeep those events that way, why are you trying to like gatekeep plays? It's a very chicken and egg question because you're saying, oh, uh, you're not politically mature enough to watch something, but you'll never become politically mature unless you're exposed to that something in the first place. Unless you encounter something that maybe allows you to critically question and examine your own political beliefs, you'll never mature. So I think as an artist in Singapore, I've always felt that I had to question these rather extraordinary circumstances that govern art making.